Quick Mix Quick Mix epoxy carpets made of natural stone is a quite stylish and non-trivial solution. However, in order to lay such covering, you need to fully prepare the room. First, you need to prepare the base of the room where the work will be done. Remove all the extras, polish the floors, clean the room with a vacuum cleaner to collect even the smallest specks of dust. After that, the Quick Mix primer mixture is applied and covered with fine quartz sand. In a day after the surface dries and hardens, it will be ready for applying the stone carpet itself. After laying, the mixture must be rubbed off. Thus, all irregularities and excess are removed. At the end of the work, a film is applied on the floor covering and the room gets sealed to avoid dusting. It's required to leave it in this state for another day. Then the film is removed and all residual grains of sand are removed with the help of a wide brush. Further, the floor covering is laminated, after which it is ready for use. The Bod Three-dimensional printing appeared in construction relatively recently. Last spring, the Danish company 3D Printhuset first tested a three-dimensional printer for building a hotel complex, and in autumn they presented the first 315 by 315 by 236 inch 3D printer in Europe using an unusual technique in action. The goal of the project was not to advertise a particular device, but to demonstrate the capabilities of technology that meets all European construction and environmental standards. A printer with such a print head is capable of applying a layer of a solution with a width of 2 to 2.8 inches and thickness of 0.8 inches. The print spread is 98 inches per minute. Houses are completely built from a standard concrete mortar. The technology is unusual not only due to the fact that construction is carried out practically without the participation of a human. Thanks to the BOD 3D printer, it became possible to design and to quickly implement the most unusual design ideas that are not available for classical construction. Electrified Road Charges Nowadays, literally the whole world is concerned about creating and the use of electric vehicles. In Sweden, they went even further. Engineers created a road that can charge electric vehicles. Thus, they are trying to start solving the main problem of electric cars, prolonging the charge. Such cars are charged for hours, while the road allows you to recharge in traffic. The principle of this method is to place special rails in the roadway through which electricity will be supplied. Cars with built-in current collectors can be recharged from them, moving exactly above the line of these rails. However, turning aside the electric car will cause disruption in receiving power from the road, because this requires direct contact of the current collector with the rails. In fact, no difficulties with this should arise, as the rails have a very comfortable width of the strip. So, in Sweden, they plan to maximally electrify roads and highways all over the country, which will reduce the need to build stations for charging. Wagner Speed Shield is a device for painting the corners and jams. The gadget is used for various types of painting works and is an increased pressure airless paint spraying machine. The size of attachment for the paint spray gun or the extension cord is 7 or 8 inches, depending on the preference and the equipment included in the package. The main advantages of the device are as follows. Neat, smooth, and fast painting of any corners, no need to cover the ceiling, no additional equipment required. Zipper Truck System Engineers from the United States have found a way to build tunnels without the use of cement mortar. The principle of work consists in the buildup of brick and concrete blocks with an emphasis on a special truck body. This method is called Zipper Truck System. The so-called Zipper Truck has a similar principle of work. The tunnel zips up like a zipper bolt on clothes. During such construction of tunnels, predominantly reinforced concrete blocks with special protrusions and cavities are used which serves as grooves, reliably securing all the elements of the structure. As a result, a tunnel with reliably fastened blocks is formed, the strength of which perfectly competes with the strength of those structures where cement mortar was used to fasten the elements. The vehicle itself plays the role of the foundation of the future tunnel, or arch, 
Its body has a metal base in the shape of a semicircle on which rollers are placed. They allow it to move along the tuned strip of the tunnel towards the place where its continuation will be further erected. Guys, thanks for watching. If this video was interesting, please support me with your likes, comments, or reposts on your social media platforms. This will be of great help for the channel. Don't miss the next video. See you then.